I'm Mike Graham and welcome to Winton Motor Raceway in round five of the Shell Touring Car Nationals from Ned Kelly country. And I'll tell you what, there might be the hint of an ambush here today between the great V8s. Alan Moffat so far, Glenn Seek and Alan Jones have been the pace setters. They have and congratulations to Glenn. Uh, Mike, you know, he's only 26 years old and to run a professional team and get four pole positions in a row in this company is really something. He hasn't won a touring car championship yet, and this is the year he wants to do it. Well, yesterday in uh, qualifying, Glenn Seaton the fastest, 1.22 seconds under Jim Richards' GTR mark of last year. Alan Jones, his teammate, second fastest qualifier. Then John Bowne, the Shell Falcon, followed by Thomas Mazera, the Telecom Mobile Net Commodore. Dick Johnson in the second Shell Falcon EB, and rounding out the six Mark Scaife in the Winfield Commodore VP. That's Saturday, but of course on Sunday, everything changes. And one man who needed one today was Dick Johnson. Dick Johnson, it certainly makes it a lot easier on such a tight track. Mate, I tell you what, it's easier getting the pole position this way than it is any other way. <laughs> that is so important on such a tight track. The second tightest touring car round is here at Winton. The first corner is just going to be sensational. Well, I think so. Not only the first corner, but I reckon every three laps after that is going to be unbelievable because... Uh, it's very tight and it's very close. Well, the Peter Jackson dash, of course, saw Dick Johnson take over pole from Thomas Mazera in the Telecom Mobile in the car. Then John Bauer, Mark Scaife, Alan Jones and Glenn Seaton, though, who had the front row yesterday, have gone to the back row. And we pick up some of the highlights of the trophy dash this morning coming in for the start. On the inside, it's Dick Johnson and Thomas Mazera on the outside. Mazera needed a lightning start, but Johnson gunned it on the inside. Mazera tries to cross. A touch is caught wide. Watch his outside back wheel as he hits the ripple strip. Puts it sideways, Mark Sko finishes him off, and through the infield goes both Thomas Mazira and Alan Jones. That put Dick Johnson up into the lead. Car number 17, boy, was he out of the war zone here. Leading from John Bauer, then Glenn Seaton coming back through the field. This is the battle now for second. John Bauer, right in the mirror, comes Glenn Seaton. Seaton to the inside, Adam away, smack straight into the side of him. He goes through to take over second spot, and dropping back into the third was John Bauer with Mark Skate finishing in fourth. That was the way they finished, and we picked up AJ with DJ. Thanks, Mike. And Dick, uh, you certainly didn't let anyone down there. You predicted before the race that the first corner was going to be hectic. It just was just that. Well, you know, that's the way the racing's going to be today. You know, it's just uh, the nature of the racetrack. You've got to get a good starting position. You've got to make sure you get a real good start and uh, make sure you get to the first corner first, settle down and do very consistent laps after that. 